How's it going there fellow junkies? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about some of the new improvements in Android 5.1 um, kind of versus Android 5.0 Lollipop. I'll be doing that on my Nexus 6 trusted awesome device here and uh, showing you off some cool new tricks and things you may not know. Let's go do this. First one is notification toggles. And notification toggles are right up here. And there is a couple things that have been added to these. And those things specifically are for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. You see that little name underneath? You can actually click on that and get right into the settings here. Very easy to switch networks. Very simply right from the toggles, which is really nice. Same for Bluetooth. See a bunch of watches I've had connected. And those features are just really slick that you can get in and out of there easily without having to go through settings and getting to them. The other thing you can do is you can actually add toggles to this, if you know how. So I'm gonna go into settings, scroll down to accessibilities, I know this is hard to see, and then turn on inverted colors. And when I do this, you actually can see it better, but the rest of it's gonna look funky. So let's go back in here, turn them back off, and now you can see that little toggle right there is inverted colors. So you can turn inverted colors on and off very easily. There's a couple more of them hidden in settings, but um, that's basically what you can do and how you can turn on different toggles to add to your notification drop down here. So that's pretty much the difference here with Android 5.1. Some of the other changes are things like this. So if you go into your clock, I'm going to show you these at the the top. So some of them are very much animation and, and feel of how it operates. So if you click on this one, there's a little thing that turns. Click on the hourglass, it flips, and then it drains normally. Clock goes around. Alarm clock shakes. Um, those are those little animations that you're, there you go, it drained that time, that you're going to see with uh, Android 5.1. So that, that's pretty cool. Another feature is security. So right now this is my lock screen. If I swipe up, it unlocks the phone. Very simple. Well, if we go into settings and we go to security, we can actually come in here and we'll go to, right now I have it on swipe for uh, screen lock. So if you come in here and you change it to something else like pattern or pin, let's go to pin. And there is this now security feature that basically tells you if you want you can set it up so that when your device boots before it even loads the operating system it's going to ask for the security so let me show you how that looks so I'm going to say yeah to do that I'm going to put in a quick password note look okay there we go and then it tells you some other information is um, when your device is locked how do you want notifications to show so show notification content hide sensitive notification content don't show notifications I'm just going to say you can show them when it's locked. It'll be shown on the lock screen. Um, but there's some customization here, as you guys can see. So I'm going to say done. And I'm going to really quickly uh, reboot my device. Actually, I'm going to do it with a root application. So it actually does a reboot. We'll use this one. There we go. And you're going to see it's going to come here. And this is my Nexus 6, like you all know. And then before you're going to see, I think you're not even going to see much of a boot animation. All right, so it is going to show you a little bit of one. And I think it might, it might go through the little Android, finish the boot animation. And before anything else comes up, it's going to go directly to lock screen. So let's see if it does it. There you go. So you can see no notifications are going to show. Nothing's going to happen until you unlock the device. So let me go ahead and do that. There we go. Android is starting now, and look, it does another boot up, and then when it boots, it'll fully load up and work. So that's what I'm talking about with this security before the device even boots. So if your phone gets shut off and turned back on, gets lost, stolen, whatever it is, they're not going to get anything. They're not even going to see your lock screen. There's going to be nothing on the phone for them to access. There we go, we booted back up and we're rocking it. So so it does take a little longer to boot with this feature, but um, if you really want higher security on your device, this is one you're going to really like in Android 5.1. The last feature here is notification dismissal. And this is really, really nice. 
and a very, very cool feature. Basically, before you could swipe away notifications um, and it would, you know, get, get rid of them. Um, otherwise, they kind of stayed on your screen and was quite annoying. Now you can dismiss them temporarily and that feature is very, very nice. So, should have my buddy Matt here messaging me any second and I'll show you what I'm talking about here on the Nexus 6. There you go. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I love I, <laughs> I love iOS and Apple so much. Shut up, Matt. We know that's a bunch of baloney. So, you can see it was down there, and if you wanted to dismiss it, you can just swipe it up. That is what will, would get rid of it. Before, if it was on the screen, you had to swipe it left or right. Um, and if you swipe it up, it'll still be in your notification count here, like you can see. But if you swipe it left or right, it would get rid of it. So that's just another trick that's uh, new here in Android 5.1. I didn't even show it to you. Let me see if I can message him and get him to do it again. So here you go. <laughs> it is funny today. So you can swipe it left or right. You can see that. Or if you swipe it up, it will not clear it. It'll just show it up here again. So <laughs> it is this time he says, it, it, is it true? that you are moving to BlackBerry. Yeah, whatever, Matt. You're full of it. So there you go. That's basically just a little tweak. There's just a lot of little improvements here in Android 5.1. Well, there you go. That pretty much wraps it up. Those are some of the features that I thought were interesting. There are some other ones like dual SIMs and um, being able to have multiple SIMs in your device and different accounts for that. I don't have a phone that does that, so it's hard to show it off, along with some HD, video, uh, HD calling and so on. Um, I'll give you guys links to some articles on that and probably a post by Google covering Android 5.1. I know this video is a little bit behind, but um, just kind of when I had time to get to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more coverage on the Nexus 6, Nexus, Nexus 9, and all of the new devices. I do have already ordered my Samsung Galaxy 6, S6 Edge and HTC One M9 and should be getting them very soon. So stay tuned for those videos. I'll be doing, uh, you know, kind of walkthroughs on them, um, hacking, modding, the standard stuff that we do here at RootJunkie.com. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, and we'll catch you guys next time. Root Junkie out.